Nations attend before God's throne with solemn fear and sacred joy. Know that our God is God alone, who can create and can destroy. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and so I'm so glad you could join me. Thank you. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, May the 14th, and the scripture for this service, Psalms 97 and 99, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 10 to 15, and 23 to 27. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, God most high reigns, let earth rejoice, and let the islands be glad. Alleluia. Psalms 97 and 99. Alleluia, God most high reigns, let the earth rejoice, and let the islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about you. Righteousness and judgment are the foundations of your throne. A fire goes before you and burns up the enemies round about. Your lightnings light up the world, the earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at your presence, at the presence of the God of all the earth. The heavens declare your righteousness, and all the people see your glory. Confounded are they that serve carved images, that delight in idols. Worship God, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments. For you are high above all the earth, you are exalted far above all gods. All that love you hate evil. You preserve the souls of the saints, and you deliver them from the hands of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright of heart. Rejoice in God most high, all righteous people. Give thanks for God's holiness. Alleluia. Our God reigns, let the people tremble. You sit between the cherubim, let the earth be moved. You are great in Zion, and you are high above all the people. Let them praise your great and terrible name, for it is holy. O mighty lover of justice, you establish equity. You execute judgment and righteousness in Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All you people exalt God most high and worship at God's feet, for our God is holy. Moses and Aaron were among God's priests and Samuel among them that called upon God's name. They called upon God most high and God answered them. God spoke to them in the cloudy pillar and they kept God's testimonies and the ordinance that God gave them. You answered them, O beloved, you forgave them, though you took vengeance on their evil deeds. Exalt God Most High and worship at God's holy hill, for our God is holy. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. God Most High reigns. Let earth rejoice and let the islands be glad. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 7, beginning at verse 10. See the day, see it comes. Your doom has gone out. The rod has blossomed, pride has budded. Violence has grown into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, not their abundance, not their wealth, no preeminence among them. The time has come and the day draws near. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for the wrath is upon all their multitude. For the sellers shall not return to what has been sold as long as they remain alive. For the vision concerns all their multitude. It shall not be revoked. Because of their iniquity, they cannot maintain their lives. They have blown the horn and made everything ready, but no one goes to battle. 
for my wrath is upon all their multitude. The sword is outside, pestilence and famine are inside. Those in the field die by the sword, those in the city, famine and pestilence devour them. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crimes, the city is full of violence. I will bring the worst of the nations to take possession of their houses. I will put an end to the arrogance of the strong, and their holy places shall be profaned. When the anguish comes, they will seek peace, but there shall be none. Disaster comes upon disaster. Rumor follows rumor. They shall keep seeking a vision from the prophet. Instruction shall perish from the priest and counsel from the elders. The king shall mourn. The prince shall be wrapped in despair. And the hands of the people of the land shall tremble. According to their way, I will deal with them. According to their own judgments, I will judge them. And they shall know that I am God Most High. Here ends the lesson. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, for the Mercy of God community and the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for our families and friends and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, this nation, and the whole world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and the proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For peace in Jerusalem and unity in the church, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, and for all who serve God in the church. We exalt you, O God, our King, and we thank you for all the blessings in this life, and we praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who died, especially Howard, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you, and we pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins that God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You love justice and establish equity for your people and for the nations of the earth, O mighty God. We exalt you with our tongues and worship you in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever, amen. Hallelujah.